I can hear someone digging with a shovel outside. But every time I go to the window and look out, there's no activity at all. And the sound stops as well. But I know who they are. At lunch, they stage tiny bullfights in the bottoms of their deep house. Well, what am I going to do about it? Kissing the butts of her cigarettes as if her lips were still attached. Door opens. Three heads float in. Take a seat as if still attached. Three heads revolve as if still attached to the ceiling with wires. She orders scarf soup. Eats some, wants to take the rest with her, argues with the waiter. Three dollars for these scarves? Not even silk. Not even chiffon. This is something I got this week. It's kidnap insurance. Look. Look closer. Don't be afraid. It's kidnap insurance. It's not cancer. No one can live properly anymore. We're living the traumatic breakdowns of some mighty big rumbas. Nobody can live properly anymore. These things are real. I don't have to think about them. They're real. And this, this I got this week too, half baby pictures. I tore the yellow banner down from over the temple aviary door. The wind blew breath violently into my pipe cup. I grasped my throat, gagging, flung, I burned my air ears popping, stomach blowing with fear. At the air, a poison stench. The knocking stopped. I tore the yellow banner down from over the temple aviary door. No one saw me do it. As far as anyone is concerned, it never happened. Never happened. And they'll never make me say it did. I'm just this person sitting here. And since I'm all alone, except for you, who's going to uh, tell us when it's over? We could take a vote. We could do it democratically. You want to take a vote? Let's take a vote. Okay. <coughs> uh, 
<clears throat> we'll vote. All those in favor of ending it now, say aye. Aye.